Now, the Tanzanian government says its embassy in the Democratic Republic of Congo is in contact with its 21 citizens who are trapped after their convoy was attacked last week. Lucy Taylor has been speaking to Tanzania's government officials in Dar es Salaam. The Tanzanian government says it has established contact with these men and is continuing to talk to them to find out how they are and to work out what level of risk they're now facing. Their convoy was attacked on its way to a gold mine last week and the drivers were robbed of money and their vehicles and afterwards they were told to flee. But this is an area where there's fighting between government forces and rebel groups and it's far from the nearest town. So since then, these men have been trapped in the forest. Now, 21 out of the 24 drivers are Tanzanians, so the Tanzanian embassy in the DRC has a role to play. Crucially, they say they've been talking to the government, the Congolese government, in Kinshasa and asking for their help in giving these men security. They've also been asking them to remember these civilians are in the area when they're conducting their own operations to try and prevent these men being caught in the crossfire, in the scramble between the government forces and the rebel groups. They were actually being escorted by government armed forces when they are attacked, so it does seem as though they may have been overpowered. The rebels know this area very well, so it will be difficult for the government to defeat them. But the Tanzanian government says it will continue its work to do everything it can to get these men to safety. Lucy Taylor, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.